Now to another of our state election seat profiles. Footscray in Melbourne's inner west has been Labor heartland for more than 80 years. But times and its demographic makeup are changing. And as Nick Parkin reports, the once safe seat could soon become a marginal battleground. Like other electorates in inner city Melbourne, the Greens believe the seat of Footscray is rapidly turning their way. The biggest thing is as people are fed up with being neglected and taken for granted by the Labor Party. The seat takes in the suburbs of Footscray, Maribyrnong, Braybrook and parts of Sunshine. More than 40% of residents were born overseas and the seat has a high proportion of renters and a growing number of mortgage holders. The sitting member is Marsha Thompson. I've been the member for Footscray for four years and there's no way in this four years that this seat's been neglected. Ms Thompson points to educational spending and the new regional rail link as examples of how the government is investing in the area. She's also enlisted the help of a high profile western suburbs figure. I've been whistling for a long time but now uh, that the whistle's been heard. But opposing candidates say the electorate has been ignored for years in public transport, health and law and order. The infrastructure in the West is the poorest. For whatever reason, when the state government actually promises to do something, it's always a very cheap and nasty version of what the eastern suburbs actually gets. Well, they just uh, take our taxes and therefore don't worry about us because it's always been a safe seat. At least on paper, Footscray is an extremely safe Labor seat. However, if Labor's primary vote were to fall below 50%, then preferences would come into play, and that's when things could get very interesting. It really does not make it potentially winnable, or at the very least, um, will turn this seat into a Labor Green marginal. Uh, it's not for me to predict election outcomes and what's going to happen. It's my job to work for the people here in Footscray, and that's what I'm going to do. And it's those people who will have the final say. Nick Parkin, ABC News, Melbourne.